Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at five condos. Two of them are for rent, the others are for sale, and they, the ones for sale would make great investment properties as well. Is this the most beautiful place I've ever shown you? Absolutely not. Is it doable? Is it a place you could live because the price is right? Absolutely. I would live here myself. So I'm going to show you these five condos. Let me know what you think. And these condos are being shown to us by Alice with Indigo Chiang Mai. There's a link down in the description. So if you have questions, make sure to ask her. And I'm going to have all the prices listed on each one of the videos. So stay tuned. All right, here's what it looks like walking down to it. There's plenty of places to park your either vehicle or your motorcycle. Again, don't let the outside of these places scare you. These, of course, they're not the prettiest places you've ever seen. This isn't even the unit we're looking at though. They're not the prettiest places you've ever seen. However, I think you'll be well pleased when you see the inside and the location and the price. As far as location, this is located next close to the main highway that gets you to everything so you're able to live close to just about everything so it is in a very good location and more on that parking see as you can see there's even parking over here and everywhere else around here which is rare for condos since this is an older one they do have a little bit more parking than you would see other places and here's a look at the outside and let's take a look at the first condo so now we're going into the unit that is for sale. So let's check that out. All right, shut the door behind me. And this is it. This is a renovated place. It has been freshly renovated, as you can see, fresh paint, furniture, the whole nine yards. So let's just take a good pan around here. You can see it's done in neutral colors, so it's gray, so you can do anything you want with it it's like a blank palette there for you and it is a studio apartment so it's just one big room let me show you where i just came in so there is the front door area so over here you've got shelves where you can put a lot of your belongings and then you've got your bed which this is a good sized bed For from the u.s i would say this is a queen size bed and then you've got your table over here, your dining table. And let's take a look at the kitchen. All right, here is a look at the kitchen. You got plenty of cabinet space for one, possibly two people here. You do have a two topper stove over here. So it's electric, as you can see. And you do have the stainless steel type cabinet, or excuse me, countertop there and a sink over here now let me show you guys the view out of the window i can't open this up right this second but there i'll do the best i can there is the view you have outside of your window so again let's take a look at everything again here so as you can see there's plenty of room for one person decorated any way you want the price is right you could use this for rentals if you weren't staying here all the time and make some money off this property and then sell it later if you want to. You've got a mirror over here on the wall. Your bathroom is over here. Show you the uh, door to this as well. There you go. And it's not see-through, by the way. You just get the shadow. And when you come in here, you'll hear the uh, fan going, which is always a good thing. So here is from the top to the bottom. And this is again done in gray. Very nice flooring, the whole nine yards. It's got the drainage hole over there to the right. So if you wanna get everything nice and clean and that's the drainage for the uh, shower as well. Toilet is over here, very modern, clean. And let's take a look at the sink. There is the sink and here is the mirror. So here is the 24,000 BTU air conditioner, which is more than enough to cool this down. So you will never be warm when you turn this on. And they do have a really nice refrigerator as well. It is brand new. It's a decent size for one or two people easily. So 
This is a very nice refrigerator as well. All right, so here's a look into the rental property here. And as you come through the door, I'll turn around and show you what it looks like over here. You've got the bed area right as you come through the door and you've got your closet over there to the left. There's the door that I just came in. And this, this place is kind of sectioned off, which I like, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let me just show you this first section here. Let me get in this corner and turn around and show you guys the rest of it. So you got your area there for your TV. So door over here to the right, you come in, your bed's here, all right, TV's over there, and you got this wall. It doesn't go all the way up, so it just kind of partitions this off. Going through, you've got your little dining room table here, so you've got a place to eat. And if I go over here, you can see you've got either a place to watch TV again, or you could make this your office. So let's take a look at just this part. So there you go, what I would call an office slash living room if you want but i do like the fact that it does have this wall there especially if there's two of you and one of you could be on the other side of the wall you can get a little bit of privacy from one another and over here to the right we have the kitchen so let's take a look at what we have here a lot of cabinet space for a, such a little kitchen area. Now notice there is no stove top, so you would need to bring your own and just plug it in, which I would prefer if it was me because I could go buy the one I wanted. And it does have that microwave. And let's take a look at the refrigerator. Now, this is one of the, it's not the smallest of the refrigerators. It's like two of the smallest ones you would expect to see in like a college dorm room or something so it's big enough for one person possibly two depends on how much you cook at home and let me give you another pan here of what we've looked at so far so there's the that living room slash office to the right and there's where we came in so that's kind of a look and here's the air conditioner by the way right there so it is placed strategically where it's going to hit right in the middle so it's gonna the air is gonna hit both sides and because it's open at the top you're gonna get that good air circulation now if we go in here to the bathroom it's actually really big it's white and you've got your sink your toilet and then if I bring you around this way the shower section let me close this door is actually fairly massive so as you could see, this door was blocking most of it. So plenty of room for everything. For the price, good luck beating it. And you do have this outside area. So you have a sink. Your sink is out here. Now this is the sink in lieu of having one right here in your kitchen. So the sink for that is out here. Keep in mind, you do have a sink in your bathroom, so don't get that confused. And here is your look outside. So you're looking at the condo across, but hey, you know, there's probably a lot of good drama you can watch on the other side there. And there is this uh, protective plastic screening here. It's not metal, and that's just to keep the birds out so you don't have bird poop all over the place or any other critters coming. So I'm trying to get you a view. You can see the mountains off in the distance kind of hard to see but there it is so if you do have any questions about this like I said don't put them in the comments but ask Alice with Indigo Chiang Mai Realty there'll be a link down in the description so the other unit that's for rent looks pretty much identical so we won't spend as much time looking at this one but just so you could see it does exist <laughs> and what kind of condition it's in We'll do a quick scan through here. Again, pretty much looks identical. Table, same setup over here. You would almost think I was in that same unit we were just in. And here's a scan of the kitchen area. So again, all looks the same. About the same size refrigerator, maybe two or three inches a little bit taller. An old stovetop, probably toss that out and get a new one. A look at the bathroom. Bathroom looks identical. Same amount of cleanliness and everything else. Looking good. 
open this up. There's a look at the shower. And let's take a look outside again. We're only two doors away from the other one, so we're not very far. So it's going to be just about the same view, same everything. There's the, uh, to the left where we were looking before. And there's the sink that's out here on your porch. And we'll do one final walkthrough going the other way. I'm telling you, with only slight differences in, in uh, items located in here, you wouldn't even know one from the other. So these are both available. All right, here is a look in the other one that is for sale. This one's bigger, a lot bigger than the ones we've already looked at. Let me get here in the corner and give you guys a good pan here of what we're looking at. And I'll show you guys around. So as you can see, there's not very many walls. There's one dividing the bedroom over there. Other than that, everything is wide open and you can hear the echo. So that means there's not much furniture in here. So let's take a look at where we just came in at. There's the door where we entered at. So this is a blank slate. You can use it for whatever you need. I do want to point out that in this whole area you've seen so far, there is not an air conditioner to be seen. You can add one easy enough. And to be honest, I would, if I was buying this, I'd probably want to have my own air conditioner installed so I can get the BTUs that I wanted for, but it does have one in the, in the uh, bedroom. So we'll go over that in just a moment. So this would be your kitchen area right over here. As you can see, there's no frills there. You've got a sink and that's about it. So you would need to bring your own topper electric one that you could put right there and cook things on. However, there are some outdoor areas. So be prepared to see that here in just a few minutes. Let me show you another way of looking here. So that's like the entrance. You can see the ceiling is somewhat decorative here. All right. And the bathroom, by the way, is located right here. And let's see what we can see in here. So nice, clean, usable bathroom here. No frills, looks really nice. And you've got your shower area over here. That is, if you're new to Thailand, that is the water heater right there. It's an electric water heater common throughout Thailand. You're not gonna get away from it for the most part. All right, and let's go look at the first porch back here. This is not the big one I was telling you about. This is the small one. So here is about how big it is for maybe big enough for a couple of chairs. You could put maybe a washer dryer out here if you had an electrical hookup. Here's the view outside of the window. So all the ones we're looking at today have been on the sixth floor, including this one. So this is your view outside. Now let's go back in and take a look at the rest of the house. So you've got this big open area, which you could use for a living room, or if you wanted, you could actually put a wall here or something and make this into a second bedroom. However, just know that you would need to go through this opening to get to the other bedroom. Now let's take a look in here at the bedroom. Here's the bed. I would say this is a, if you're, from the US, this would be a queen sized. And the room is actually big. I can pan over here and show you. And let me give you another angle so you can see. So there's the windows. The only AC unit is right there. So you would definitely need to put another air conditioner unit in. That should be somewhere between, I would think 350 to 400 US dollars. And here is your outdoor area I was telling you about that's a little bit bigger. I would go out there and look around, not much to see. However, there is out the door. Again, I guess we're going to keep that closed and look out here. So same view we saw before. So there's two ways you can enjoy the outsides. You've got two different porches going on here. But anyone, this one is for sale. And I've been saying, if you have questions about this or any other property, make sure you contact Alice. With Indigo Chiang Mai, there is a link down in the description. 
All right, so let's look at our final condo. So this one has got an open plan as well, but this one's set up a little bit different. So let's start again where I came through the door. Over here, as you can pan, this is going to be your living room area. And let me turn around and show you a different angle here. There you go. So there is the TV. So this is the area when you come into the condo. You can see there's a doorway there to a bedroom, another room over here, and this would be your kitchen area again. So again, there's really not much here. I would imagine your refrigerator, yeah, is gonna go where the refrigerator is already. And here is the sink. So again, you would need to bring your own cooking toppers to put on there. Your bathroom is over here. Take another look. This is uh, in the same building. All these homes have been in the same condo. So they're gonna look relatively the same. So we won't spend too much time. It give you a good look around. This one, by the way, this bathroom or shower is a little bit smaller than the other ones we looked at. And here is a look off of the balcony, but we've seen this view already. So let's go back and look and go into, let's say bed, the bedroom and check this out. So here is a shot of the bedroom. It's a gigantic room, All right? So it's a blank slate for you to decorate. The walls are white. That makes things easy and bright. There you go. Here's another look at the rest of the unit. And if you bought something like this, you can always rent it out. There is the closet areas. So the door's kind of blocking things, but you can kind of see it there. And let's take a look out of the window here because this is a new view, if I can get it in there. So there's you another view of Chiang Mai. It's a beautiful day. All right, so looking at that, Let's check out the rest of the home. You've got another area here, which you can use for a lot of things. Excuse the mess in the left. There's some people's stuff still left in the room. And you could use this for an office. You could use it for another bedroom. You could use it for anything you want to use it for. So you've got all this room. And just to give you another angle, no, there isn't like another bathroom or anything in here. It's just a big open room. Now, one thing I didn't look for right when I came in was an air conditioner. So now we're gonna go air conditioner hunting. I don't see one in this big room. I think it's only in the bedroom right there. So do keep that in mind and any questions, contact Alice with Indigo Chiang Mai, link in the description. So that's all I have for you right now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. Link down in the description. We'd sure appreciate it. So thank you for watching. And I'm going to end this by saying thank you in Thai, which is kap kung kap.